Hi, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. I've had a few people ask me about uh, any tricks or techniques for applying Kapton tape to the uh, print bed. So I thought I'd go ahead and show the technique that I use. First off, the uh, six inch wide Kapton tape is extremely helpful for this. So you can get this at uh, Amazon as well as other places. If you don't already have that, I suggest it. So the first thing we do is we take that and uh, go ahead and pull out just about enough that it's going to easily cover the bed and just kind of eyeball it. So about and right. here's the trick. You set the roll itself right on the edge of the bed, just kind of balancing it there like this. You can even sort of set it down if you, if you need to to get more stability. And you're going to take the other edge, holding it at both corners, and you're going to pull that down and get it lined up right at these two corners of the bed. Now, notice that the, uh, the way the roll is sitting keeps it from all sticking to the bed prematurely. It's holding it sort of up a little bit. And if you need to, you can even move that roll while you're holding this. If you just kind of shimmy it from side to side so you can move it this way and you can move it back the other way. So you can use that to move it until you get it nicely centered. And then you just lay down right at the two corners on this end and you should have overlap just like this. So you want to just smooth down right at the edge and then you're going to go ahead and just fold that under and press it up underneath the bed there so that you have a good seal. Now, now that you have that edge down, go ahead and, and lift up this roll to make sure that it's all clear, nothing is sticking to the bed yet. Now when you set it down, you want to set it down so that it's balancing right on the edge of the bed. See, it's not on the, the bottom of the printer. It's not resting on the bottom. It's resting entirely on the edge of the bed, and that creates a tension from its own weight, which holds the tape up while you're working. So now you can just let that roll sit there while you, using your finger, slowly work from this end, and you can pretty easily now you still need to go slowly because you don't want to get any air bubbles, but you can go pretty easily now that it's down. I had a little piece of plastic under mine there, but you, of course, will be more careful. And just keep going a little bit at a time. If you get any air bubbles while you're doing this, you can just pick up the roll, pull it back a little bit to get it back behind the, where the air bubble was, and then set it right back down. And you can even, you know, you can you can press the tape back onto the roll if if it's come off too much so that it's not giving you the tension you need. And now we just proceed. A little bit at a time. You don't want to go too fast because you will get bubbles underneath. I've got some nicks and scratches in my Kapton tape here, which is why you're not seeing a perfect surface, but you'll, uh, you'll get good results with this because it does avoid any wrinkles and things like that. And then you get to the other end. Just cut off about a, an inch past where the edge of the bed is. And put away the and then we just smooth down the last bit, press it underneath, and there you have it, a nice new kept on tape surface, ready for printing. Thanks guys, happy printing.